What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I am a top player playing Risk Global Domination on PC. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. I do a fixed game every Friday. I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast on Wednesday. Every other day I do whatever I feel like. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me <clears throat> today. We are playing what will likely be the last of my round three tournament practice games. And this lobby was not one to be missed by YouTube. So, settings for round three, we're going to reiterate. 70% uh, domination on Spaceport Sigma, my favorite map. Um, 60 second turn auto setter, expert AI fixed cards, balance blitz. Uh, you have one AI. Uh, fog is off, alliances are off, blizzards are on. I'm in the second position, in position one. We have Zarep flying the flag of Canada. Uh, one of the top players in the game. 747 hours played. Former FFA champion. Top 10 player. Um, support on the Discord all around. Great guy. And I am in the second position. So I'm being gifted this bonus. I don't see any reason why I don't take it turn one. And I hope to snag this, but Kilted's going to take it. And then I have to figure out if I can negotiate with Kilted. See, I kind of want to take the plus six instead to kind of keep him off it. But but let's see. Let's see if, if me getting a bonus turn one sets me off on a good path to win this game. So, I'm in the second position. We have the Kill Pete Strategy VCC. It's the main Pete account. 15, 43 hours played with 17, 90 wins and 6, 58 losses. In position 3, we have an expert AI. In position 4, we have Jaden flying the flag of the United States of America. Top 100 Grandmaster. 3, 37 hours played, 331 wins and 157 losses. In position... Uh, so that's position four. In position five, we have Ms. Tigress from the United States of America, former free-for-all tournament champion. I would know I was there. Uh, <laughs> Misty, no one to hide from. And I do have uh, interview shows with Misty and Zareb. Uh, 1260 hours played with 755 wins and 816 losses. Finally, in position six, Kilted, also from Canada. Also on the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast. This is why I couldn't miss... Um, Practice in this lobby for YouTube. Two 12 hours played, 758 wins and 41 losses. Kilted is a top 10 Grandmaster as well. And a former free-for-all tournament finalist. And there we are. Tournament champion, he came in, uh, came in, I think, third place? Officially third place? Um, last season. So. We see Misty taking all but this of the launch pad. I would predict Kilted goes here. Which is too bad because I would have loved to try and snag a second bonus. He's not. He's going to put. I'm going to set in the seven there. I can go one, two, three, something like that, maybe. But if this three survives, I could kind of fuck up his shit. Yeah. Okay, so we figure that's what he does. He's going to try and take the bonus in one shot. You have to split this. Good dice, good dice. Oh, look at the fucking dice, huh? All right. Very nicely done. So. Here are the things to keep in mind about these settings. Your starting position matters. So look how lucky this guy is. <laughs> starting position matters a lot. Where you are determines the future of your game. I was able to take a bonus turn one, which is really good for me. But Kilted being there is bad because then there's nowhere for me to go and this plus four bonus gets outclassed very quickly. So do I pull the scumbag move and try and steal this man's bonus? And I do so. Misty says, well played, because she's going to take this. Now she doesn't have to roll through a three. And let's see if I can be friends with Misty. Purple's gonna take the uh, purple bot's gonna take this launch pad. I'm gonna hopefully hold two bonuses after next turn. But let's see if I get some retaliation from Kilted for doing that. Because I've essentially ruined his game. So I would expect to eat some wrath for that play. Jaden's in no spot yet, but Jaden eventually takes this position and then contests Misty. So if I'm able to win the fight, um 
Kilda says, that was my plan on you if you had two left on turn one instead of four. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> Sorry, man. It's rough out here. Let's see if Kilta doubles down on the position, and I'm in a war. Or maybe he moves over to this side of the board. Misty's going to take in center guard. He says it had to happen, yeah. I knew there'd be no hard feelings. We're, uh, we're both mature mature adults um, about this. But yeah, if this was uh, my tournament game, I would not be happy to have gotten his spawn. Going um, last or second last seems to be a bit of a detriment. Um, blizzards make this map so choky, right? Spaceport Sigma already chokes in these. Yeah, so he is going to fight me. All right, here we go. Five, four, and then we're going to see the 4v4. Hi, Reg. Would you like to be on the show? Okay, Zerb starts his turn with plus nine. Hi, Reginald. I love you. I love you, Mr. Reggie. Oh, hi. Would you like some attention? Is that what you're looking for? Yeah, so these the blizzards choke this map up a ton. I don't know what the hell to do now. Right, because I'm not going to be able to take that bonus. And Zerb's going to finish the comment behind him. Hmm. Well... Do I choose this opportunity to try and play nice with Kilton? Okay. Let's see how that goes. And then whether or not you have cards and whether or not those cards are good. Okay, bot puts in behind Misty. Contesting Jaden, this is Zerp's game. Zerp wins and breaks Misty. This is Zerp's game. Zerp will sweep this lobby. Yeah, look at that. Good game. So he's going to finish this bonus, then I have a plus four and a plus six. And then either direction he chooses. Yeah, Misty's in trouble, Kilted's in trouble, and me interrupting that, getting involved over there instead of trying to occupy some amount of board position over here, pretty much seals everyone's fate. So now we're all playing for points. The way the tournament is scored is you get three points per bounty and two per placement. So last place no bounty is two points and then um, fifth is four points and so on. Because it's 70% domination uh, you cannot get the final bounty because you will end the game to the maximum number of points. Hey, excuse me. Maximum number of points is 24. It's possible Zerb gets the 24 point game. What, what seems more likely to me is that we fight amongst ourselves and kill each other while he slowly expands out of this end of the board and wins the game. We'll see how likely this prediction is to be true. I can already kind of see the future now that we are on the fourth turn beginning. Zerf starts with ten troops. He's going to finish everything behind him now. Hollow out this section of the board. Got the set too. Look at this. Unstoppable juggernaut coming. We take most of this plus six. Okay. So now my eyes immediately start to move to the question, who can I kill? I'm trying to get the kill on the bot, I think. Hey, sit down, please. Thank you. Hey, sit down, please. If you're going to be there, I need to see the screen. Thank you, Reggie. I said sit down, please. Okay. Part of me wanted to take that launch pad. I don't think it makes sense. Of course, no set on four. What are the odds? All right, let's see how this story goes. Watch Zero kill everybody. I might go next. You never know, right? Because I'm coming up against him. A great, great lobby. I love playing against really, really good players. It's such a privilege. 
Okay, yep. Jaden finishes his bonus and breaks Misty. Misty down 16 troops, but she's in this position as well. Hmm. Can I win this game? Probably not. How do I maximize points given that? Zareb's going to play a win. He's also going to take bounties if they become available to him. Misty smashes the shit out of Jaden, leaving two singles behind her. Jaden's in a bunch of positions, only has ten troops left. Alright, if I had a set, I would be able to kill purple. No, I still have to go through here, never mind. This blizzard splits purple. Let's see what Kilted does. Does Kilted break Misty? Or does Kilted try and take the bonus? <laughs> And he tries to take this bonus for himself. No, it doesn't even bother. It sits with the stack. Okay, Zarp now getting 18 a turn. I'm going to finish this bonus and start to work in here. And he'll be able to maybe guard from that position and just attack to there. And guard from two positions. Holding the plus six, the plus four, and a bunch of extraneous territories. Be around 35% of the map. That's halfway to victory. Okay, so with this play, I make it very obvious that I'm no longer trying to win the game. I'm just lining myself up to make kills. I'll be holding five cards. Okay, Probot matches in behind into Misty's zone. I see it as being utterly impossible to play to win, so I'm going to play to maximize points, which is the new definition of winning. Alright, Purple Bot has this. If Misty clears out Jaden from behind her. What does Jaden do? Does he have a set on four? Yes. It's a, it's a shitty one, though. 15 troops total. Is he going to triple down back here, or is he going to try and add troops elsewhere? It doesn't really matter where he goes. He's licked. And he does. He's behind Misty. Okay, so Misty is in a little bit of trouble. Miss Tyrus putting in five troops. Can I kill her position here with a 12 stack? One, two, so uh, 11, 10 split. Nine, eight, seven, six. Yeah, I can. Maybe I'll add a single troop there. Can I take out the rest of Misty from here? Do I have a 10 trade? I do. I think Misty might be the fit. That's a lot of position for her. Okay, I can line myself up to do it next turn as well. Hopefully Zarep helps me. Maybe I get the double kill. Bot or Jaden as well. Oh, but Kilton has other ideas. Okay. It's no longer a play I can make. Kilton sets me up to die, or sets me up to get fed? No, it sets me up to die. I die. Well played. I die. That was a good one. That was a really good move by Kilton. I die. Too bad I didn't have a set on four, huh? I would absolutely have traded it in if I did. Now let's see how the rest of this game goes. Fucking predatory settings. Feeding other people kills is absolutely correct. Because Kilton just went up two points for the placement. He says, you killed us both on turn two, Pete. And I said, indeed. Indeed. Okay, Zara pushed into Misty. Lines himself up to kill Jaden. Oh man, is he just going to tie everybody for lowest? I think he uh, he could. See, Zara's going to play to maximize points. Could have almost gotten the 70% there. This is the problem. Is he even going to make... going to be able to make another bounty. Another thing about 70%, the way it's scored, is if you reach the win condition, everyone alive in the game ties for lowest.
Misty's thinking about what she could do. Doesn't have cards. And tries to line up herself to kill purple, but a bit fragile. Sarah has this game on lock. I get a lousy two points for my trouble. Yeah, so in retrospect, I think the correct decision would have been to actually start here and not contest Kilted Fort, but actually try and take the bonus in two turns and completely eschew the Mare Nubium Station bonus. I would have had a better chance because then Kilted wouldn't have put in there and he wouldn't have fought me. Breaks Misty. Yeah, Kilted is now playing to feed kills. He can have an okay chance of that because he's about as far away from Zerp as you can get. And this is good. I'm I'm very happy to lose horribly in my practice game and then get really, really good luck in my real one. So we're doing alright. Currently have 42 points. Tied for second place in this tournament. Four people tied for second, and then Sin with a crazy strong lead at 54 points after two games. Two perfect games, round one and two. It's in the dark. All right, looks like Zara takes the kill on Jaden. So J uh, Zara's going to finish this game uh, first in two bounties. I think he finishes the game now. It, it would surprise me if he... Well, I, I guess he doesn't have troops to do so. 66, yeah. Oh, uh, 10, yeah. He'll just finish the game right now. So Zerv gets first in two bounties, and Kilted, Misty, and the bot tie for fourth place. One more territory, he's not going to take it. He'd take it, right? You have to, to end the game. No, he doesn't end it. Okay, trying to get another bounty. He's going to have to let them punch him then. If he wants that third bounty. In a real tournament game, I think you would. You kind of um, let the bot hit you specially, so the bot gets big, and then maybe you could kill your other human opponents and take their bounties because you're playing to maximize points in this tournament. Misty and Kilton, really a no-win situation. I think it's actually correct for them to hit Zerup, though, because they don't want to tie themselves for fourth. They want to feed kills to Zerup. I think he just ends it here. Impatient as he may be, how many turns are you going to wait? Or you just make yourself indestructibly strong? This game's over. Or is he going to card block the human players and let the bot expand? That might be possible. if he's patient he could get all the bounties right you just kill the bot last and let the bot expand don't leave it up to your human opponents 67 percent trying to piss his troops away yeah so that the bot expands exactly yeah this is what i would do too going to be a very instructive video on how to get a perfect game from zero assuming he doesn't just end it 
Yeah, I am still of the belief that it is correct for Misty and Kilted to hit Zerub. Misty is not doing that. She's trying to play for Bounty, which makes sense. That still benefits him. And Kilted's fucked. There's nothing he can do. Maybe hits Misty out of this position. No, he just gets a single take. Not making it easy. That's for sure. I think Misty's actually lined up to make the kill on the bot now if she gets a little lucky. He's not going to let her. Guards the kill. It says that bounty is for me, thank you. Never seen a game like this. This is all about maximizing points. I figure maybe at some point Zerub just quits because he knows he can. And in the real game he will. But in practice, it's just practice, so. Don't think he needs to prove to anyone that he can. For what matches in, we're going to start taking position in the middle of the board. And as the purple bot expands, Zerub will be able to make the kill on Misty. I, it is absolutely correct for Kilted to hit Zerub and hasten this situation. Let's, first of all, let's see what Misty does. Does Misty try and kill purple bot? No, because she can't get to this section, and only six troops. Misty pushes into Zerp a little bit, giving him some wiggle room. That wiggle room is just going to be used to kill her, though. Almost sure of it. Alright, killed to get the big set? No, he gets a small set as well. Four troops. Pushes into there too. Alright, killed now as a bonus. I think the first kill Zerf gonna make is gonna be on Misty. Yeah. Misty dies. Okay, that's three kills for uh, for Zerup. Maybe not. He's not killing Misty. Hmm. He's gonna keep his opponents trapped in a single position. Okay. Yes, yeah, so there's nowhere for Kilted to go now. And then he's going to let Purple expand. So we can make the kills on the other two. Yep. Uh, help many, not helping anymore.
take Misty out of that pocket. Yep. Trapping your human opponents on other sides of the map. And you're going to use the capacitance um, generated by the bot to make the kills. Misty, I think, goes before Kilted just because she's a touch smaller. Took a couple of turns, but we are going to see Zerup get a perfect view. It's nice to see. And it's nice to get on video. played yeah everyone being a good sport about it these are some <laughs> rough rough settings if it doesn't go your way yeah Misty can't do shit I'm gonna get her get five cards give kill to the third give the bot second Killed a slow rolling 26 stack. It's all over, ladies and gentlemen. The lot looks like kills it doesn't have a set on four either. And there we go. Takes the bounty on this Tigress. Don't end the game. Yep. Still need that bot to expand a bit. This bot's a bit of an expansionist. Maybe take two more turns, but he'll get enough territories to kill Kilted. Take him out of this pocket. And one territory shy of the wind condition. Bot gives them the necessary number of territories. Mercifully, this game is over. Twenty-four point game. You'll love to see it. Congrats, Sarah. Best of luck to everyone still alive in the tournament. And best of luck to all of y'all in your round three games. I hope yours goes like this one for Zarep. I know I hope mine does. Got my uh, fingers crossed that the luck goes my way. I know a lot of people are rooting for me and I appreciate all the good vibes. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found some of it fun and educational. Maybe even a little entertaining. Maybe even a little informative. Uh, if you are interested in getting better at the Game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along with the ride with me. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. I do a fixed game every Friday. I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast on Wednesdays. Every other day, I do whatever I feel like. And until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.